Oh, I'm with you. We're here. Let's get let's get started. Let's do exercise 11 here real quick. So I've got my exercise 11 notes going. Click there. Or homework number 11 or whatever. All right, this is not hard. All right, so I, I don't think we need to... You know, you can compute that or you can just Google that if you want. By the way, this is 85 kilometers is the edge of space where meteors burn up. Um, so, and you, you all can do this. And this one, I'll be honest with you, this one, the drag formula is on slide 17. I already passed that along. So make sure on question 9. On, on homework 11, question 9, it is slide 17. Okay, we slide 17. All right, let's go on back. Okay, the main, okay, so all of this is just fun stuff. Okay, curling rocks. Okay, the coefficient of kinetic for the ice is 0.168. That is so wrong. That was something that I, I looked up the kinetic coefficient of ice, of certain ices, but not for the curling stone. It's actually really much, much lower than that. What is the force of kinetic friction the ice puts on the stone? All right, so you've got M, so duh. You know how to do that. In fact, I think that might be a test question. Um, the stone was released at a speed of 7 meters per second. That is so wrong. <laughs> Actually, how many was, um, so on 15, so on 15, this is actually a test question, but, but I've changed it where, um, it's not a continuation, it's its own problem, but you know how to do this when on, so on problem 15, basically just a quick review for question 15, how, how many questions are there on this thing? All right, so for question 15, it is just that f of k times the distance is equal to 1 half mv final squared minus 1, or mv not squared, yeah, e final minus 1 half mv not squared. Okay, there we go. Okay. Before it came to a stop, it was this one an easy one where it came to a stop? How many meters would the stone travel before it came to a stop? Okay. Well, this one's not hard because what you would do for this one is D. Is equal to the change in kinetic friction the change in kinetic energy, divided by the frictional force, F of K. And the frictional force you, you computed in question 14, where F of K is equal to mu of K times mg. All right? And remember, this is going to come up because F is, this is going to be negative, and this kinetic frictional force is going the opposite way as negative. So you wind up with a positive distance. Okay, calculate the density of the baseball. That should be pretty easy. The one thing I want you to remember is that the volume of the sphere is equal to four-thirds pi r cubed. Okay? It's the volume of a sphere. And so remember the density of something is its mass over volume. All right. So there you go. And we've already done this. We did it with a beach ball in class. This should be pretty darn straightforward. I, and I have, to be honest with you, I have not gotten any questions at all about this. So we're good. And this is on the William Truebridge thing. So actually, homework 11 is actually pretty easy. Okay. 
All right, just remember this, with the buoyant force, you're trying to push that ball underwater. You're trying to, it's going to have a resistance force. The buoyant force is equal to of the water times the volume of the ball times G, pushing up. And if you get it just under the surface and hold it there, then the sum of the forces is equal to zero, and you're good. So the force that you need to submerge that ball is equal to this. All right. Well, that wasn't hard at all. Okay, good. No, no wonder I didn't receive any questions, but I've received a lot of questions on the other stuff. So that was good.